Hi, I'm back for part two of my day five review of intermittent fasting. Once again, this is the second time I recorded this because I forgot to turn the microphone on again. So I'm just taking that thing off and leaving it off. I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference in the sound quality, so I'm just going to go without it from now on. Uh, I was a little concerned with today since it was the first day back at work and that uh, over 20 years I've grown accustomed to um, you know having a snack at 9 o'clock and eating lunch at 11 o'clock that that would kick in and, and possibly be a problem uh, and it really wasn't. Uh, I wasn't nearly as focused on the time today as I was yesterday even though I had a clearer window of time you know the 11 o'clock lunch time uh, it wasn't a problem at all uh, I did have some um, stomach growling uh, a little bit at 9 and a little bit right before 11 o'clock but wasn't anything bad and uh, a bit of a surprise between 11 and 11.30 when I'm normally eating lunch and today I just went about doing my own stuff uh, I actually got like a second wind I was uh, upbeat, energized, excited, ready to go and that, that really surprised me um, I'm five days into this now my energy level is absolutely fine I have not had any problems with being tired or lethargic uh, I did a heavier weight workout this morning and uh, got through it without any problems. I pushed my weights up a little bit. I actually increased it. Uh, prior to this I was doing three supersets of three and now I'm doing four supersets of three with um, some ab work at the end uh, and then the boxing. Now because of the time frame I didn't get the boxing in this morning. I got it in this afternoon. Uh, that I'm going to have to work on because with this extra set in there it takes me a little bit longer so I'm going to have to get up just a little earlier so I can get the full walk in and then get all the weight lifting in but today was the first time on that and learning what moves into what and what weights need to be where uh, I think I've got that down a little bit now I made some notes and it should move smoother and faster in the future but uh, five days in, I'm feeling great and I'm enjoying this, not being a problem at all. I am going to make one small change in that I'm changing my window. It's still going to be a 16 hour fast with an 8 hour uh, feeding window. But instead of cutting myself off at 9 o'clock at night, I'm going to cut myself off at 7 o'clock at night because I tend to go to bed about 9 o'clock. Usually 9 o'clock I head upstairs, I read for about a half hour and then I go to sleep. Uh, from what I've been watching and reading, most of the people who have the 9 o'clock cutoff go to bed between 10 and 11. So, And they suggest having at least an hour or two between your final meal and the time you go to bed. So I'm going to switch to that and see how that goes. And I think it'll also help out since, um, you know, sometimes there are things scheduled at work. So if you're going to eat, you have to eat at 11 o'clock. Uh, right now, I, I'm a little bit flexible there but here pretty soon that's going to be a little more strict so switching from an 11 to 7 um, feeding window shouldn't be a problem it should actually make things a little bit easier um, and also from what I'm seeing is, is people do adjust their their windows even during the week like on weekends they'll wait longer to eat their first meal and they'll finish later at night and that doesn't seem to be a problem as long as you get the 16 hours in there that seems to be the important part but uh, I'm liking how I'm feeling I'm, I'm energized and uh, feeling good uh, it's too early to check any weight loss but we'll see um, I figure I'll probably check my weight Thursday because that'll be one week and I don't expect to see any change that soon but that'll be the first time that I actually check my weight so that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.